Good day everyone, this is just a quick video on the OSH Park um, PCBs that I've ordered. Uh, I've, I ordered these because it was an SMD layer and magazine paper, you can do it, but it gets a little bit sort of, it gets a little bit sort of close, um, you know, like it's, the, the, la the, the spacing is very fine and I just thought, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind learning how to um, fabricate my own PCBs anyway in the process, so I decided to do it that way with this one. And with their system, it actually was pretty, Pretty straightforward to get the files uploaded to them, and it the, their system will check to make sure the files are all correct and tell you if there's something wrong or something needs to be changed. And I managed to get it uploaded and, and uh, fabricated, and I've tested them, and the boards work correctly. So I I passed the test, I suppose you could say. Um, I did have one problem with their system: the address, the international address um, that they've got on the front of the letter. Uh, I, I put in the field. I actually checked uh, the uh, how I originally typed it out, and it was my name, street address, um, uh, suburb and, and postcode and state, and then Australia down the bottom. But the way that they've got on the letter is my name, my street, Australia, Australia. So the post, the Australia Post didn't know what's what suburb, state, or postcode to actually send it, but they did actually work out where to send it, and I ended up receiving it. But it added a lot of extra time onto the um, onto the onto the postage um, time, and it almost I think I've been pretty much waiting for these for over four weeks now. So it's been quite a long time since um since the time that I ordered them. So that's a bit of a shame. But I'm going to actually email them about that and um, let them know because it must be a problem with their system. I did I did not type it in that way, so their systems buggered up the um the the, the letter. So apart from that, everything else went perfectly smooth smoothly the boards didn't cost much the postage was a little bit expensive at eight eight dollars just for a little envelope to send it um, uh, but it was re a registered envelope but I still think that eight bucks is you know it's a, it's a fair bit to, to post them the actual boards only cost about three dollars for six because they're quite small and the larger the board size you order the, the obviously the more expensive it's going to be so what it actually look like what's the what's the uh, fabrication quality I guess you call it um, well, it just they just look they just look top notch. I mean, have have a look at that. As one of, one of my one of my phrases um, that I often use, it's a sexy sandwich. Have a look at it. And the um, that that um, silk screen might look like it's um, sort of crowded and a bit hard to read. That's because it actually is crowded and hard to read because I've made this board so damn small with the SMD um, components. I've really uh, squeezed it all on there uh, to make it as small as possible so the silk screen um, uh, component labels ended up being quite small um, but you can still read them you can still read them perfectly fine so the board is I don't know if you can see in this light but the board is actually like a dark purple color it kind of looks a bit black in the preview screen on the camera but it's actually a dark purple color and that, they just look really hot they, they look they look great um, yeah so so the, the so the boards just get the thumbs up and their system also gets a perfect, uh, uh, perfect 10 out of 10. Um, but it's just that address thing that's a bit of an issue. Um, but I'll, I'll send them an email and um, hopefully they'll fix it before uh, you order yours. Um, if you've got an international order, also um, the postage was eight dollars to send to Australia. But if you're in the if you're in the US, um, I think it said free delivery to the US, which just made, I mean, if if I could get free delivery on these uh, on these boards, I would al almost classify etching my own boards as unnecessary because the, I mean, these six the six of these little boards cost um, I think it was about three dollars to get to get fabricated and then another eight to post but three bucks to, to, to get um, six of these and they just you know they just look so good so yeah that's just my quick experience with um, the fabrication process I can't remember if I mentioned but that's actually the first time I fabricated I managed to get it all all done smoothly without any hitches so yeah, the, the, their system's really good. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials, videos, and demos. Thanks for watching.